one second. No Man's Sky keeps crashing on me for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Okay, yep, that game just straight crashed on me. Okay, let me try to find that up first. Give me a few more minutes. Okay, there we go. Um, should be working fine now. Seems to be fine. Okay, everything is working and we're going planet hunting. So I've been dying to try out the new No Man's Sky update and I haven't played this game in a couple of years. I used to play it a lot. But this new update is really cool. I need to find myself a new planet though. Uh, okay, let's get... Should we go check out that water quickly? Oh, push it, push it. Shit, I'm out of fuel. Uh, ah, crap. I don't have enough supplies. Collect a bunch of stuff because I feel like I'm gonna need a lot of things. Uh, huh. Look at that guy. Oh, I think I already scanned him. Uh, okay, I need oxygen this way. I did hear something on Twitter where people are saying that if you have a legacy save, which is what this is, um, you won't see all the biomes and stuff, so I might just start a new playthrough completely. But I want to survey a couple of plants to see if that's really the case first. Should have enough supplies for mm. slash launch fuel metal plating. Okay. Uh, 
Maybe some more ferrite dust. Should be more than enough. Uh, okay, how much antimatter do I have? Uh, none. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I can make antimatter. Oh no, I have antimatter. I need the housing, oxygen, ferrite dust. Shit. Mm. Ox. Oh, there we go. O2 plus over there. That's carbon. Shit. Oh, what's this? Oh, crossword. Don't need that. Is that enough to make one? No? Shit. Uh, oh, there's more there. Just one, that's fine. Should be enough to get me to a couple of systems out of here. Oh shit, I gotta walk back to my ship. Ooh, I guess. Kinda far. Yep, that's real far. Hi, I've heard this game is good. Hi, Hannah. Oh, uh, this game is real good. Even at launch it had some issues, but... It's had like 16 or 17 updates since 2016, so it's definitely worth playing now. How are you? How's your day going? Ice cream, so life is good right now. Oh, damn. What kind of ice cream? Me and Alex had desserts too, but now I feel like ice cream. No, we, I, we had ice cream. But I want more ice cream. Also, if I sound super dead tonight, it's because I am dead. I, between the relaxation of this game and not having waking nightmares of Radan chasing me down a hallway, this is kind of chilling me out. So that plus sleepy equals a very, very, very relaxed, tired me. Just vanilla, but I put caramel sauce on it. Ooh, that's a good combo. Oh, classic combo. I have enough sprinkles lately too. Lately though, sorry. Ooh, cannot English today, people. R.I.P. you, I will miss you. I will miss you too, because I think this is a series for that finale. Oh my god, I can't English today. Um, Robin E.B. Robin, no English good tonight. But uh, I can at least fly this spaceship. Which you would think you shouldn't do when you're sleepy, but hey, here we are. 
Okay, uh, that's fuels. I have three hyperdrive cores? Oh, okay. I'm good then. Um, Alright, let us fly. I'm gonna switch to third person though. Uh, there. I have a question, I hope it's not insensitive. Okay, shoot. Let me just ask you the question. But I never considered arguing with second language? Technically, no. Because, um, so when I was born in India, I was always, always in the Catholic schools. So I learned like, like, my home language and English simultaneously. So I am, I'm Duolingo, basically. Yeah. It's funny because when I moved to Canada, they wanted to put me into ESL and stuff, and my parents were not happy about that. So they made me do a test, and I scored higher than most people in my grade. So they're like, oh, never mind. Okay, time to go somewhere new. Uh, what about... Okay, so... Three worlds... No, two worlds? Two worlds and one moon. Circling one of them. Okay, fuck it, let's try it out. Well, I know you moved when you were young, but I forgot you'd be like speaking... <laughs> speaking already about that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I moved here when I was eight? Yeah, eight years old. Ooh, what the hell is this planet? Not surprised the Catholic schools be teaching English. <laughs> yeah, it was super Catholic too. You like uniforms and shit. High energy planet, ancient bones, gamma root, activated indium, uranium, and salt. Don't really need any of that. The whole point of tonight is to find a bountiful world with floating islands. It's apparently extremely lit rare. I almost said extremely lair. Oh my god, I need coffee. Oh, I have coffee. Wait. Oh, thank god. Okay, let me switch to cockpit view again. Uh, okay. Alright, near it. Where's the moon? It's on the other side of this world. Oh, um... So, I've been playing the game for a long time. So, part of that is that I was able to afford all of this. Wait for it. I love this part. I have an entire fleet. And the cool thing is you can board all of these ships. You need to do like maintenance and repairs and you can board your main supercarrier. And I have like a collection of ships in there. Which is part of the reason why I'm considering maybe starting a new playthrough where I just start completely fresh. So maybe not tonight, but if I keep streaming this, I might do a fresh playthrough. It seems kind of unfair having all of this stuff and then you know, gallivanting across the universe. But let's see. Okay. Now, we gotta get to this planet. Typically, moons are either barren, volcanic, and if we get lucky, super, super rich with resources. Or, a bountiful world. But I kind of forgot how to read maps in this game. Uh, oh, the moon's over there. But yeah, I highly recommend this game, Anna. It's on sale right now, I believe, too. And it's just a lot of fun. And it's multiplayer. Oh, what's happening? Whoa. Huh. I don't know they put, like, derelict freighters into the game. Can I land in these things? Let's see. Okay, I have to go into third person so I can maneuver it a little better. I'm unsure if you can land in these. Maybe they're just for set dressing, but still kind of cool. Yeah, 
it seems real dead. Can't even scan it or anything. Alright, we'll keep moving on then. Okay. So this is a miasmatic planet. Fungal mold, indium, ammonia, and sodium. So it's a poisonous world. Definitely want to avoid that. But there seems to be a moon orbiting this on this side. A planet full of mold does not sound appealing. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. It's a red world. What is that? Uh, I'll get a little closer, I think. Alright, scanners. What is that? Oh, why can't I scan it? I have to get out of this atmosphere. Oh, there we go. A humid moon, star bulb, indium, perfinium, cobalt of high central activity. Which means there is a lot of plant life here. Right, let's check it out. Oh, I'm seeing something floating. I'm seeing... I think they're floating islands. Or... Wait, what? Already? Could be mountains soon, I'm not sure. I think we found floating islands. Okay. That was fast. Okay, I'm gonna land I'm gonna land on ground level first, I think. Whoa, this planet is real red. Wow. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go land on the island. Alright, this is a candy prime, huge pest system, first contact. So choking humidity, observant, bountiful, and a lot of supplies. But the issue is that sentinels are pretty pissed off on this world. That's never fun. Probably because they're starbolt. Oh, is that a waterfall? Wow. Alright, this is really cool. But I oh whoa! Ah. I almost died. We're okay. So it doesn't seem like my save is affected because if I can see these new floating island assets, I should be fine. So I will continue with this save because I like all the resources I have. Uh, what's in here? Oh, look at that cluster of islands. I'm going to check that out. Uh, can I get up there? Yep. Whoa, look at those. H obesity day. They're asymptomatic. Asymptotic, sorry. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, this game is super chill. It's just, it really is whatever you want to do with it. I just like being an explorer. I have a couple of home worlds, but don't really do much with them. I, I get bored with... Um, oddly enough, I get bored with base building in this game. Mostly because I don't like to commit to it. But I just like exploring. Okay. I was hoping for mountains and like, some seas as well, but... It doesn't seem like this world has any aquatic life. But these are really cool. I'm gonna take a quick screenshot of those, actually. Oh, oh, oh. That's a good screenshot. Alright, not a bad planet, not a bad start. But we're gonna head out. Oh, and the system has a binary star, which is cool. 
Alright, next system. Okay, free explorer. So, the GEC manufacturing and a lot of conflict in this system. The Keyans, Carvax. Let's go off the path then. I don't remember the colors that are the rating for worlds. I think red is really good. Out of jump range, shit. Uh, this is also red. Four worlds and one world with two hovering uh, moons. Yeah, we're going. The first contact, okay. What's this? Vermilion globe, cadmium, phosphorus, and cobalt. Not entirely sure about that. Redacted planet, cadmium, phosphorus, salt, and high central activity. I think these are the inorganic hex hexagonal planets, but let's go check it out. Um, how much warp field do I have? Uh, I'm at 57% hyperdrive. Do I not have any more hypercells? I guess not. No, I should have a hypercell. I don't understand. Oh, you know what? I have a lot of crap on my freighter. I should probably clean this up a little bit. Oh, the Normandy is A class. I thought it was S class for some reason. Okay, how long till I get there? 35 seconds. This game is so freaking relaxing. You know what? I might start a new playthrough. I don't know. I am very undecided. Okay, while I'm doing this, I should go to a space station and sell some shit, probably. My multi tool is still S class. Starship is S. What are these? An archived wiring package designed to allow easy storage of core technology. Oh, nothing right here. Uh, let me go to a side where you can see the sun. Ah, screw it. Let's just jump in. Oh, no, come over there. Oh, what's happening? Oh, yeah, it's these worlds. I'm not a fan of the black and white blood worlds. This has a hell of a cavern though. Whoa. That's kind of cool. Alright. But not for us. Okay, that's the system with the two worlds? No, oh, the Vermilion Globe. What are you? Metallurgic planet, so mostly empties. Uh, no atmosphere. What's this? Verdant planet. Okay. Uh, that could be. That could be it. Verdant planets are pretty good for flora and fauna. So worth checking out. It is so cool, man. A minute and ten seconds? This is a large system then. Oh man, I need a I need like a drink or something with this. Just chill and exploring. <sighs> Almost 
this there. Need some more coffee. Oh. All right, from what I can see so far, green oceans. But that just may be the atmosphere changing the color, though. But it looks like fractured islands. Or, I don't know, the continent's loading, sorry. We'll try landing by the coast, though. It's very green. It's very green. What the hell? It's very, very green. Dangerous hot fog, intermittent, frequent, and high. Get to a higher vantage point. Whoa. Something big is firework? Whoa, those are cool. S. Crocanacate. Oh, flying dinosaurs. Okay. That's very cool. It's a green sun, or it looks like it's green because of the sunlight. Wow, that's beautiful. So it's purples and greens and stuff. Okay, not bad. Seems to be larger mountains over there, actually. Uh, okay, let's do a little fly over the planet. Okay, I'm on launch field again. So this planet is purple at night, which is very cool. It's not bad. I'm, just, I'm really hope I'm looking for two things. Sorry, three things. Verdant, which this planet was. Um, very mountainous. And of course, floating islands, which is going to be probably tough to find. But even two out of three, I will be pretty happy with. Oh, what's that? What's the redacted world? Hey, what's that? Oh, the one behind the Vermilion Globe. Let me just head that way. Oh, that... Do I know what vermilion means? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let me go check it out. Actually, no. Probably nothing. Oh no, screw it, screw it, screw it. Let's check it out. Oh, oops.
another another freighter. Can I even go inside these things? Or is this an object of interest? I don't see anything. Yeah, I don't see anything. Alright, we keep moving. Is that not water? What's that? Whoa. Okay, this plan's kind of freaky. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. I'm out of here. Okay, nothing great there. Oh, this system has multiple worlds. Yep, let's try it. I think after this round, I'm gonna go look for a space station and sell some stuff. Six planets, uncharted, unavailable, unavailable. All right. All right, planet number one, give me something good. Scaly planet, what the hell? Whoa. Looks like a winter planet? Breached planet. Oh, I know those ones. Not going there. <laughs> Petrified, nope. Okay, you're green. You're green, don't be noxious. Please don't be noxious. Blighted. God damn it. Oh, what's that? Ring world. Chromatic fog. Okay. We got some stankers this round. Tag yard unmapped. So someone has been here. That's kind of cool. Freezing planet. All right. Nothing here. So let's go to a um, NPC control system then. I'm still going. I'm going free explore. Let's do current mission now. Galactic core. Hmm. Let's set water. Kind of tempted. Uh, these blue ones. And green, what's the green one again? Dissonant. Uh, fuck it, let's check it out. Alright, what we got? Big, big planet. Big guy. Baron. By you. I like the coloring of the system though. Foggy planet and vile brood detector. What the hell is that? Uh, where are the other ones? So this is one I just scanned. There's a moon there. Come on. A rattling moon. Dissonance detected. Okay. Uh, nope. Next. Okay, now let's go to an actual system with people. Uh, high tech economy sells 43.3%, buy is 20.5%, conflict is high. Yeah. Let's go. I 
high energy. What's this? Petrified. Nice. Seems to be a moon on the other side of this planet. But see anything behind myself? Oh, you want me to go to the space station? Okay, hold. Let's jump. That's a cool looking space station. Oop, nope. No, thank you. I already made it in here. That symbol is sticking out to me. What's this? Hello, sir. Scrap dealer. What do you scrap? There is no honor for the shopkeeper, but there is glory in the hunt, interloper. You agree, I think. Acquire credit for five million units? Nah. I have a lot of credit. I'm not doing that. Reselling. Pathetic freighters go missing. Weak scavengers pick through the wreckage like wreckage? Wreckage. Like feasting birds. Gra honorable Vikini warrior would never indulge in salvage. Oh, the interloper's interested. Vikian may have information. Uh, let's go purchase all this crap. Oh, it's all contraband shit. Uh, suspicious scanner module. Uh, nah. No, thank you, sir. This is customization. Oh, shipbuilding. I heard about this. Wait, this is ship outfitting. This is ship builder. Oh shit. Fuselage. So all inventories. I don't know how to do this. Do I just find the ship parts, I guess? Ooh, a solar ship. Fighters. I got one of those. Okay, Robin, how is the game so far, man? Buddy, you know I love No Man's Sky over the years, but so far this update is fantastic. And also, hi, buddy. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Drones deployed to target Starship Prometheus. Available operations. Upgrade class and or storage or melt ship into scrap. I'm not melting my Prometheus. Upgrade Starship. Do I have any upgrades? Purchase storage. Upgrade class. I, I have an S class ship. Is there something higher? How do I paint my ship? Oh! What the hell? Hi, Kay. Thank you for subscribing. Wait, well, you subscribed? Oh, thank you so much. Also, hi. How are you doing? I completely forgot I set up notifications for um, for subs, so that kind of freaked me out a little bit. What is this emote? Laughing emotes by Hannah. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> well, sorry, I've been lurking making snacks. Why are you saying sorry? The real question is, what snacks? Is that my only emote, really? Yeah, that's in my pipeline of things to do for my stream. Those include, one, putting my face on stream. That's right. The PNG tuber is being retired because I will be starting using webcams very soon. Two, emotes and badges and things like that. That's all I got so far. <laughs> I love the surprise, bitch. Surprise, bitch. Doing good, man. You could sell me on Paddle Pong. <laughs> but yeah, the game looks amazing. Dude, you should absolutely play it. It is on sale. This is not a pitch. I am not being sponsored by Hello Games. I just love them very much because they are fantastic. And I have believed in this game since day one. Well, Space Station is a lot busier now. Yeah. Rice paper omelets. Oh, that sounds so good. Alex and I went for an early dinner at like 4 o'clock to all I could eat sushi. 
and I swear to God, we ate so much that I'm still full. Like, I can't even think about food. Like, rice paper almond sounds amazing, but if you gave me that right now, I'd probably just save it for later, because I'm so full. Envoy Dubkinexia. Hello, Envoy Dub. I'm gonna call you Dobby. I don't know what you do. Oh, this is for the Fighter Guild? Or the Explorer's Guild? Come back for your support. Unstable Plasma. Oh, Mercenaries. Cool. I really want to find that one ideal homeworld and build a um, build a town because apparently that's an update that I completely miss. Oh shit! Hey, Amrit, thank you so much for the sub, man. Thank you so much for both of you for the subs. Really appreciate it. No, no, I know it's so impressive how much they put into this after the failed launch. Enjoy the sub and much love, brother. Let's play soon. Yeah, buddy, absolutely. What do you want to play though? Because I'm down for some siege. I feel like it's been so long. I'm rusty as hell. But it could be fun to do that. Or I've been thinking of playing um, Chain Together soon too. Oh, what the hell is this? Weapon Turbo. Cool. Yeah, I kind of want to play Chain Together as well. Seems like it could be fun. Mm, I, I see Sushi sounds amazing. It was amazing, but my god. I can do that once in a while. I'm, I get so full. I just. I see like Karage and Yagatori and I just I just get super super craving for them. And they eat too much. Okay, uh wh why did we come to this why did we come Oh we have to sell shit, right. Where? Okay, so that's backpack weapons. Yes, let's get crazy right coins on the boys back together. The OG boys of Siege. Oh, I'd be down for that. As long as you don't jump out of a window this time. I still have the video somewhere. <laughs> Chain together can either make or break friendships, lol. Oh, 100%. It seems like very overcooked coded. It's like, hey, let's play this neat game called Chain Together. And next thing you know, you're just finding each other. You're like the NSA, you have all the videos. Hey, you guys used to complain I never took videos, but hey, I got I got two that um that make you look pretty incriminating, dude. But you are a great siege player. That was just really funny moments I captured. Uh okay. So I'm assuming this is for geo navigation locations. Uh okay, here we go. Yes, this thing. Let me sell my crap for my freighter. Uh, sell. Okay, Vortex Cube. Sell 8 for 43,000. Wrong button. Also, for everyone joining us, we are playing No Man's Sky and checking out the massive new update, which has been pretty awesome so far. I'm just glad <laughs> my game didn't crash because before the stream started, I tried a couple of times and No Man's Sky kept crashing. No idea why, but it seems to be pretty stable right now, so I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, Starship inventory. Freighter inventory. Okay, Vortex Cubes. Uh, yeah, this is for selling. What the hell is this? Sell 79 of these for 415,000 units? A paramagnetic form of oxygen. This rare substance has much to offer in the production of advanced technologies. Ooh, no, I'm not selling that. Herux. Yeah, I can, I can sell that. I have eighty-three thousand magnetized ferrite fer for some reason. Sell that. Cobalt mirror. A specialist optical component employing a polished cobalt surface. This mirror. I can't English. Wow. Cobalt surface. This mirror is cap able to. Selectively filter different wavelengths of light, changing its reflective pattern based on nearby magnetic fields. Uh, components, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, Corvax history, nah, you got her out. I need antimatter, I need that frigate fuel. Chloride latus. Uh, I'm gonna keep that. Hot ice. 2.6 million? What the hell? A paradoxical, ma paradoxical material made less mysterious by its relative ease of manufacture. Uh, yep, sell that shit. Albanum pearl, yep, sell it. Corvax casing, sell it. Gravitino balls, I have a bunch of these, sell that shit. Circuit boards, I'm gonna need those. 
Copper. Eridicite. Eridicite? Advanced light metal alloy traded throughout the galactic outer edge, often used in the interiors of trading shuttles to reduce weight as they ascend from planets with high gravitational fields. Crafted from Aronia, Magna Gold, and Grand Tite. Ah, I might keep that. Starship inventory. Fr fresh, fresh milk. Okay. Crunchy caramel. See, this is why I haven't played this game in a while. I have a lot of random shit. Uh, more Herrex. Gone. Navigational data. Keep that. Lemium. Sell. Sweet fruit. Keep that. Gold nuggets. I'll sell that. Salvage data. What else we got? Kelp sack. That's about it. Oh wait, let me check my actual inventory. Uh, wiring loom, yep. What's fascium? I got... Oh, I thought that was poop for a second. Jesus. Myth beacon. Emerald, pulpy boots. Geode. Mature. Mature neural stem. Oh, that's probably for the... Uh, what's it called? The living ships. Glass. Alright, I think I'm good. Alright, let's head back out there. You know what, while I'm in this system, I think I'm going to do a quick little walkthrough of my fleet. Just to kind of like, see if I can send them on some missions. Uh, nope. Summon friggins. I forgot I have all these ships. Fiber Mark II. Oh, <laughs> it's a lot of red death. Is that it? No, I thought I had way more ships. Oh, there you are. Uh, which one's this? Ike says Folly TV5. I don't remember that ship. Ugh, what the hell is this? I'm gonna sell that one. I'm gonna sell those two, and of course my S class, baby. Star Sailor. Uh, okay, but we're gonna go check the deck now. I think I'm gonna send my frigates out for missions, so while I'm playing, I can make more money because I made like six million units just by selling all that crap. And squadron? You have squadrons now? Ooh, that's kinda cool. Good to know. Alright, manage fleets. Okay, Voyager and Autonomy Base Inspiration. They're data harvesting. A couple of A's. I have a C. I have a lot of C classes I need to level up. Alright, let's send these three out then. Uh, okay, teleport aboard. Dismiss. Um, I need to make more fuel for the for the fleet. No, I don't want to remove this ship from my fleet. Jeez. Okay, frigate lists. Some of them are damaged. Malfunctioning drones, minus two industry. Oh. Okay. Uh, upgrade and customize freighter. Customize appearance? I can change the look of my ship. Ooh. I kinda like the green engines. Uh, <laughs> I can't do anything else. Damn it. Yeah, let's have changes. Base parts and upgrades. Okay. Fuel oxidizer, a temporary frigate upgrade that lasts for one expedition. The powerful fuel upgrade overloads frigate engines, allowing for faster than usual travel. 
Ooh, nope. That seems too risky. Freighter construction modules. They've put so much into this game, man. Holy crap. Oh, you can buy. Oh, so it's with nanites, though. Ugh. That's a lot of. Mm, a black ship. Yep. Yeah, without question. Uh, okay, what's this now? Customized experience. Okay. <laughs> okay. Make everything black. Oh, that's pretty badass, actually. With the green engines. Yeah, 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 yeah. I fuck with that. Freighter warp map. Uh, no. Nice. Yeah, that looks real cool. It was 5,000 nanites, which is insanely expensive, but that means I just have to do more Nexus missions then. Uh, where do I manage my... Uh, fleet command station. There we go. Style is expensive. Style is expensive. You can't just go around wearing nothing but rags and crap. You gotta look good doing it. Next expedition sign, fleet command standing by. Oh crap, where did I assign ex expeditions? Here. Yeah, it's been so long since I sent out missions that I can't remember how to do it. Uh, was it here? Let's fleet command again. How in the hell? This is another thing I have to upgrade a little bit more. Oh, is this it? No, this is my vehicles. Yeah, this is my vehicle storage. Uh, maybe from the captain's stack, actually. What the? I gotta fix that later. Okay, upgrade control. Freighter warp map, manage fleet. Oh, planet dispatch expeditions. There you go. Ah, uh, travel entity. Corvax is pleased to report exciting navigational research. Corvax has plotted new expeditions for your fleet. All right, let's see him. Okay, difficult reading. Let's do something easy. You know, I need to upgrade my other. Um, C class ships. So removes removes finest moments. Assign ships. Okay, ships assigned five. We're gonna send out. Um, you you, it's exploration base. So, you one combat and one more exploration. No. All right, let's do a trade one. All right, that's five ships. Five ships out of here. All right, now it's this one. This is also, is this exploration based? It's a balance expedition, okay. Good to know. So in that case, trade, industrial, combat, support, another industrial. Oh, that's a, oh, no, I don't wanna get, I don't wanna send any B classes. How do you unassign? Oop, oop, that's one way to do it. Yeah, yeah, tattoo, I know. Alright, let's try this again. Industrial combat, trade. Uh, yeah, what the hell. Equip upgrade modules. Ooh. Oh, that's what it is for expeditions. All right, you guys are out of here too. Next trade expedition. Okay, we'll send some of the newbies with some of the professionals. So you, you, you. Um, where's the other trade? You 
and maybe a support ship. Right. Launch. Void of discovery. Let's send some more people out. Alright. Discovery base of exploration combat. A couple of industrials and maybe another exploration. Fleet draining three, difficulty draining two. Um Okay, maybe. Maybe we add another combat ship. You know, send the let's send the Normandy in. Yeah, three. That's that's fine. All right, you guys are gone, and then finally, this one. Let's send the big guns. And then one support ship. Oh yeah, that's overkill for this mission. All right. All expeditions sent out. So that should net me a pretty penny when they come back. But for now, we head back to our original mission, looking for a new home. Uh, let's look for my ship first. Oh, there you are. Sip of some water. Oh, that's good. Oh, Lizard warping in. It's a pretty big fleet. Oh, yeah, let's see how my ship looks. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, with those green engines. Oh yeah, that's pretty badass. Oh, I love that. Style is expensive, but it's absolutely worth it. Alright, let's go to... Let's keep heading towards the Galactic Core. Luring Void. Uh, this doesn't sound very friendly, but a lot of worlds. Uh, let's go off the beaten path. Let's go this way. Still in the Lurian... Li the Liurei? The Liurang Void. There you go. Still in the Liurang Void. But you can see, like, I'm still 711,000 light years away from that core. That range. What's this? Let's go. Alright, what are you? Freezing planet? Nope. Caustic, no. And a giant planet to my right there. A pillared world, no. I'm gonna guess this is gonna be a frost world. Redacted planet. What's that? High radio source planet. Ancient bones. Uh, not really worth it. Not what we're looking for, you know? Alright. Next system. I try going for a blue star. Blue stars typically have more or less extreme worlds. I don't see any. Let's keep going this way. To go to a green world. No. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Are you liking the view from here? What's this? Acrid planet, so something noxious. That looks kind of cool. Stellar corruption detected. God damn it! 
Oh, man. RN Jesus is not with us tonight, fuck. What's this? Sub Zero? There's another world behind us. Let me go check it out, check it out. Okay, I can. Planetary anomaly. Uh, probably a cracked world. Is that everything? Oh my, my streak is not great so far. I think I'm running out of um, stellar fuel or warp fuel. Sorry. Blue. Out on the adjunct. Adjunct, sorry. Five worlds, it looks like. Whoa. Oh, please, something cool. I love worlds with rings. God damn it, Acrid World. These look promising. This is a tropical planet oh, with vile brute detected. Okay, gonna have to investigate that. And this moon is a zero moon, so probably no atmosphere or anything. Scorched world. Um, I want to check out the planet on the other side of this giant one. But we're definitely checking out that tropical moon. Oh, the tropical planet, sorry. Ultramarine planet. I don't know what that means. Let's go check it out. Playing this game just makes me so insanely excited for Like No Fire, which by the way I will be playing day one on stream. And the fact that it's one enclosed world for everyone to share is such a great concept, or such a staggeringly um, ambitious concept, so I want to see if they pull it off, but I feel confident with them, especially with all of these updates. Okay, okay. We got some weird looking. Oh, what the hell is happening? Oh, no, no, thank you. Nope. Hard pass. Let's go to our little tropical world over there. If anyone feels like sharing, what are you playing right now? Because I'm always talking about what I'm playing, but I really want to know what everyone else is playing right now. Give me game suggestions, because since I finished Shadow of the Earth Tree, I don't know what to play next. I'm bouncing between, like, multiplayer games. Did some DayZ last night, doing No Man's Sky today. Saturday, no idea. Maybe more No Man's Sky. With a pinch of DayZ, maybe. Or hell, I might switch to Daisy tonight. I don't know. So if you have any suggestions or just want to let me know what you're up to, uh, game-wise, let me know. This planet is pretty far. Jeez. It's tropical, but it looks funky as hell. There's like a Elden Ring looking planet right there. It looks like fucking Caleb. 
Oh, if it's a horrifying planet, I'm naming it Caled for sure. Oh no, it looks pretty nice actually. Maybe not that nice, but let's land and see. We got purple and brown, brown texture. Let me get a little closer to the water. Okay, and then shoot back down. Seems like a bay over there. Not a great looking world. It is tropical, but god damn. Uh, let's land. I might need some supplies anyway. Yep, hyperdrive is almost dead. Head a quick church. Yeah, I need to make some warp cells, so I need a lot of... what again? Uh, Antimatter, so chrom... what the fuck's a chromatic metal? Okay, I think I have some antimatter in here. My freighter, yep. But I do need that for frigate fuel making, don't I? Hmm, all right. I'll have to make some. I love what they've done with the UI. Ooh. That's cool. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job with the UI. All right, let's check out this world. Full and rich with flora and fauna. And tropical storms. This new water tech that they've done is amazing. Old Man's Sky water looks fine, looks serviceable, but this water is beautiful. Nice. Okay, let's. So I have plenty of starship fuel. Mm, and then the metal plates. I wish I, could, I wish I could sort this somehow automatically. Uh, can I? Expand cargo. I guess I can just sort it quicker this way too. Alright. So, we have a need for antimatter. Antimatter is created with Chromatic metals and condensed carbon. Chromatic metals. Um, I believe that's just a resource. I'm pretty sure it's just a resource. grab uh, okay so to make this I need oxygen ferrite dust and chromatic metals and condensed carbon 
Okay, we got one down, which is not bad. So let's fuel this baby up. Not bad, but let's search some stuff. What the fuck is that? It's a living mushroom. What the hell? Discovered in the rainy marshes of planet Ray Reykjavik Beta. Scans reveal them to be highly intelligent, however, they are easily tamed and appear content to follow the whims of other creatures. Their hunger is only sated by the chunky, fleshy roots of the Mordite plant. Additional, obs additional observations cannot drown. Oh, good to know, I guess. There's ten... Oh, well, there's ten different species of life here. Good to know. Catalog and guides. Log. Alright, let's look for some supplies. Alright, we need oxygen and carbon and chromatic metal. I can't remember how to find chromatic metal. Maybe it's a refinery thing? Uh, oh fuck, I need oxygen. Yep, that works. I love this new menu for building base computer. Portable refinery. I need metal plating. Whoops. I need ferrite, right? Yep. Yeah. Here, ferrite, ferrite, ferrite. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this world at all. Nothing will be leaving here after. Oh, what the fuck? Ow. to build the actual thing. Oh, still need more. Uh... I do love the size of those trees. Nice. Nope, no, Robin, you keep forgetting to build the metal. I have no idea what chromatic metals are. Um, I know it was an easy thing to get. I believe it's maybe, maybe like iridium and stuff in the ground? Like that shit. But that's ferrite. Yeah, that's magnetized ferrite. Yeah, let's just get out of here. I should have enough fuel to jump to a new system. Or maybe I'll jump to a system with um, a space station, just buy all the materials I need for now. While I relearn the game. Oh, what world is that? Did I already check that world out? I can't remember. 
Oh yeah, the ultramarine planet. The noxious planet? Yeah, back right. Scorched. Press here. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Scientific. Untroubled. And Vikians. Alright. Should be easy enough to get some supplies without getting shot at, which is nice. Oh, God damn. Oh. Whoa. What kind of plan is this? Poisonous? God damn it. I just want to find a place called home, you know? Fiery plant? Nah, I'm good. Alright, let's get some supplies. That giant robot I think is kind of cool. Very Destiny. Alright, let's buy some shit. Chromatic metal. Oh, that's cheap. Um, cobalt, solar mirror, pugnium, metal plating. I can make everything else myself. Teleporter. Oh, I can go to my old bases. Uh, shit. All right, let's do that. My summer cottage. Uh, Siren's base. Yubi fam. Oh, Yubi fam. Navaria. Oh, let's go check out High Hrothgar. This is my probably my first or second home from like 2021. Not 2021, like 2018. Let's go check it out. Because if this planet's still the planet I remember, then uh, new home is old home, and old home is new home. Ah, oh, my old digs! Has not changed at all though. But let's see how it looks in the morning time. Wow, still looks cool. Yeah, this is my old, old, old base I built on this mountain. See, I'm looking for a world like this just this massive, massive mountain ranges, and uh, there's like a, like a lake or something down there. So pretty. Yeah, right? I love this planet. There's another one. Uh, you know what? Let's just go hopping. Let's go hopping through all the planets. This is kind of fun. I think I have a teleporter here somewhere. Or if I think I can go into Artemis, find one. But I'm pretty sure I built it. Oh, there you are. This needs a little bit of fuel. Just a wee bit of fuel. Alright. So there's. High Hrothgar, clearly Mass Effect, uh, not Mass Effect, uh, Skyrim inspired. Bavaria is Skyrim, is Mass Effect inspired. Ilium was also Mass Effect inspired, I just don't remember that one at all. Spectre Observation Post, Spectre Power Station. Oh, this is a nice one too, actually.
I don't think I'll revitalize these old worlds, but it's nice to kind of like visit them. Oh yeah, this one. Look at this planet. Leechy 4. So this is just from the... F I built an, a high energy farm over there that powers my base, which is on the other side of this hill. This took a while to build, too. This plant's definitely changed. The grass wasn't green like this. It was more purplish. It looks more like an Earth planet now. So this is my other base. I was trying to build a little farm here. That was a buddy of mine who was playing with me for like a little bit, but he stopped playing. Like it's, it's like half built. This one has a lot of water features. Oh, see, I need to find a world, a new world like this. Like, I know I have this world to always come back to, but I, that hunger for discovery is there. Why is this floating? <laughs> this is the farm I had started working on, but like, I don't know why I stopped playing No Man's Sky, but like, instead. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's go to... I think Novaria is my last... Uh, Novaria is kind of boring. This is an ice planet. I think I've played maybe 20 minutes of No Man's Sky, but now I want to start again. Okay, highly recommend it. It's so much fun. And if you ever want to play co-op, just saying. I am down to do that. Uh, Navaria, then Ilium. I vaguely remember Ilium. Summer Cottage. Which is the Summer Cottage? Alright, let's. We're going to the Summer Cottage. The main crib. I think that was the friend who was developing his base on the other side of the valley and he just abandoned the game. Whoa, Summer Cottage is weird now. What the fuck? What the fuck? Whoa! All right, I'm on. I'm on Arrakis. Clearly, what the hell was that? New friend. <laughs> if not friend, then why friend shaped? That was amazing. I know they added sandworms and stuff back in a while back, but I've never seen one myself. But this plant's kind of pretty. It just looks strange now. Yeah, Summer Cottage used to be more grasslands and trees, but definitely has changed. Still beautiful though. Definitely not at my not my cup of tea. But that sandworm thing was freaking cool. Alright, we'll be out of here. Alright, let's go to Novaria. Novaria, I think I remember that one. Uh sweltering damp. It's a verdant planet now? It used to be an ice planet. Oh, it's kind of nice seeing all my old places. <laughs> no, very got hit with global warming. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah, clearly. Oh wait, was Novaria the cold one? I can't remember now. Oh shit! Oh, oh. 
Oh, this plant is really pretty, too. Actually, didn't... E this planet has, like, Eden Prime written all over it with the coloring. You know, before Saren came with <laughs> the Reaper. With Sovereign. Oh, my ship's just floating over there. That's concerning. This planet's changed, too. But see, uh, high mountains, man. I love a nice high mountain. Alright, let's get out of here. Can I ever find the door on this thing? And finally, we go to Ilium. I'm starting to think... Did I even have? The EMS side, Yamandro Vasi colony. I don't remember that one. Uh, Sarin's base, I think that's my friend's brother. But look at just my bases. Summer Cod, uh, oh. A Sarin's base is mine. Mellow, limited, abundant, synthetic. It's a paradise world. All right, we're going to Sarin's. Okay, this is Oh, what the hell happened to my ship? Whoa, this is beautiful. Whoa, am I in Horizon New Dawn? What the hell? Okay, I can't look at my ship like that. This hurts to look at. Uh, ow. Right, let's, let's summon you back here. This is a really cool planet. It's freaking beautiful. And probably the highest mountain top I've seen so far. Off the worlds I've been revisiting. I'm trying to wait till morning to see what it looks like. Cause there's like a, is that water? Yeah. What is this world? Um. Discoveries. Discovered four years ago by me. So this was a world I found. Ionitionia Doga. So it's... Clearly I didn't spend too much time on this world. Let's have to establish something here. No waypoints either. Add to wonders. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. I don't know you could catalog like that now. Okay, I'm impatient. I need to see what this place looks like at morning. Whoa. Whoa! Holy shit, this is high up. What the fuck? Okay. You know what? I'm gonna find the... Yeah, I'm gonna... Find the base computer, rename this planet to Potential Home Site 1. Because this is literally the best planet I've seen so far. And I found this planet four years ago. Alright. So, Potential Home Site 1 is logged. Oh, this planet is really stunning, isn't it? Look at these. Oh, look at those. Ow, what the f You son of a bitch. I'm gonna scan you take you for your money. Thank you for the 20,000. The colors, I know. I I might have salvaged this as a new world. Like, look at the mountain tops and stuff, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely coming back here to build something. Oh, you know what? I got it. Um, no Man's Sky has that base building thing where you can hire people to maintain a little town. 
little town on the mountain. It's a little town on the prairie. No, that's... What show I think? Yeah, little house on the prairie. There you go. Okay, where is the nearest space station? Oh, what's that? Rotting planet with a lot of mold. No, thank you. So, paradise world, eh? So, where am I relevant? I'm closer to the galactic core than where I was before. I can just... I can just stop off... I can just, like, continue from this point onward, then. Huh. Okay. What's this? I still want to visit a space station and check out the Ilium before I continue on my journey. Because clearly, um, I passed Robin, found a bunch of cool worlds, and didn't do shit with them. And with the generation updates and stuff, it clearly looked like it's improved. Where are you? You are... Tropical? Shit, okay. Oh, like so many islands. Maybe I'll build a beach cottage here. <laughs> okay, how am I on warp fuel? 29%, I can still do a couple of jumps. Charge that. Charge that. Okay, if you're liking the colors of the game, trust me, there's a lot of beautiful worlds you can discover. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. This is a very chill game. It is the exact opposite of my heart rate from playing <laughs> Elden Ring last night. Whoa. Oh, this is beautiful. A, what the hell is that? Occasionally scaling cloud bursts, ever present, full. Lacking. So plenty of flora, not of fauna. This planet is beautiful though. Oh, this planet is very cool. What's this? Let's pull out the gun just in case. This kind of looks familiar. Oh shit. Oh, I know what these things are. Yep. Biological horrors. Oh jeez. Luckily my gun is crazy strong. But these were a problem when I first fought them. Oh, okay. Ah! More? Jesus. Oh, this is Hell Divers? What's happening? Okay, I think I'm good. So, definitely gonna take these whispering eggs then. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, good to know. Every time I open these.
Sentinel drones? I don't need that heat right now. Jesus. Uh, nothing going on here, officer. You know what? Not a bad planet, but I don't need... I don't need the stress of these creatures. So I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Oh, swarm subsiding. Thank you. This is a cool planet, though. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, we need to find the space station. to the space station. Welcome home? Question mark? Oh, what the fuck? Are we going from Starship Troopers to Dead Space right now? Because what the hell? Teleporter here, which is nice. But clearly, this place has seen better days. Oh. Some sodium. A, a chair that I can just spin. Okay. Another chair. Nothing in here, really. Alright, before we take the teleporter, I'm gonna go check out the uh, other side. This place is cool as hell, though. Good screenshot opportunity. Yeah. Biological crap. Don't sit in the crap. Yeah, give me those nanites. Galactic terminal still works. People can be dead, but commerce and capitalism lives on, clearly. Some ammo. Tech module here? Yeah, research specimen. Study increase with the Vikians. I'll take that. Alright, let's go to another home world. Okay, we've done these. We haven't done Ilium yet. Have we done Ilium yet? No, I don't think so. Summer Cottage, potential home site. Yep. Yamaro Vasi Colony. And the Dallery Base. Permafrost spreads thin, ample copious. Hmm. Sweltering damp, no. Corrosive sleet storms, ever present in the flora. Foggy world. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. Why not? Oh man, it's eepy. What the hell? 
Cyrodiil? The Tamriel system? <laughs> yep, definitely something I found. Oh, we're getting hella lag in here, though. For obvious reasons. Because this base is huge. This, I think I remember building this a long time ago. Oh, not bad. Not bad, not great. Yeah, I can get out of here. This one I'll probably uh, delete. Oh, jeez. Where are we relative to the center of the galaxy? So this one's further away, I see. Oh, look at all these worlds I've been to. Those are all the circled ones. Clearly spent a lot of time here. But we're gonna take... We're gonna go to visit a space station and then get out of here. Sweet. Let's find the nearest warp gate and get the hell out of here. Oh. Derelict freighters are dangerous environments full of environmental hazards and hostile entities. They contain a lot of valuable salvage as well as a special item that can exchange abroad to space station. To find a derelict freighter, purchase an emergency signal scanner from the scrap dealer. Okay, emergency signal scanner. Alright. Here's a warp gate. Hi, Okro. Oh, no, let me test that. We'll figure that stuff out for next time. I just want to explore. Alright. Get me out of here. Okay, I think we can go back to the Normandy. Let's continue. Uh, 
shit, oh yes, I'm backtracking a little bit. Okay, let's go a different direction then. Got a jump range, boisterous. Nope, nope, nope. What's this? No. A lot of worlds, let's check it out. Is my cruiser coming with me? What's happening? <laughs> yeah, it's a little, little glitch. What do we got here? Charred planet. Spine planet, okay. Well, that looks cool. Um, calcified. Flame ruptured. Yo, are the red planets just cursed? Is that what's happening? Yeah, the red systems, sorry. Yeah, I think the red systems are cursed. So these are devoid of life forms. It's to instability. Water based life. Only two worlds. Uh, three worlds. Um, yep, let's give it a shot. We're not gonna know until we get there. Either way, I think we're gonna have to stop here to fuel. I can probably make one more jump, but that's about it. Arid planet. What about you? Let me scan you. Let me scan you. No, damn it. Sub zero. That's gonna be a stinker too, probably. Noxious. Yep. Uh, damn it. Okay, one more jump, and then we're gonna have to just disembark in the first shit. Black core. Four worlds. One has a moon. Oh, five worlds. Five worlds in a minute, so six plant celestial bodies to explore. <laughs> oh, man. Big stretch, big yawn. What do we have? Redacted. What's this? Desolate. Chromatic fog. God damn, evil. Uh, so, plants behind the plants are behind this giant one. So let's jump. Oh. Miasmatic planet. Okay. Stable planet, and finally, Catherine. God damn it! Can I afford one more jump, or I'm out of fuel? Oh, lots of worlds, lots of worlds. Last jump, and then we have to get a lot of crap. I did buy a stack of chromatic metals. Should be fine. Dead planet. Desolate planet. I'm getting some crap today. Poisonous moon, that sounds lovely. Wait, 
What's that? High energy. Looks like it has bodies of water. So let's check it out. High central activity. Though that's not good. But they have activated cadmium. Cadmium, sorry. Wait, gamma root, that means it's a noxious planet. Ah, crap. 2%? Uh, okay, can I make or some? I cannot. Alright, guess we're landing on this puke planet. Wait, there was other planets here, weren't there? Dead planet, desolate planet, what's that? Metallic planet, okay. Mm. Also high central activity. You know what, I'd rather go to a desert planet than a puke planet. Or all the noxious gases. Both have high activity for sentinels, which should be fun for me. Oh. Oh, what the fuck is that? Incoming message. 884-245-286-165-720. Uh, okay. You're cool to look at. I'm going to take a screenshot of you. Fly around you. Huh. That was kind of cool, though. Not gonna lie. Wall of flame detected. Oh, I think I should have gone to the puke planet. Superheated and regular patrols ample and full. Alright. My thermal protection is falling real fast. Get in the ship, get in the ship, get in the ship. Everything's on fire. Okay. 
Yep, I chose the fire planet to land on. It's 315 degrees Celsius. Also known as Toronto in the summer. If you know, you know. Right? Like, today was a nice, cool day in all regards, but like, the day of the blackout and the, the flooding, so warm. I was going stir crazy in my place, just sweating and dying and nothing to do. That was not fun. And then taking 28 floors, taking the staircase 28 floors down was not fun. See the storm is cooling down. Give it a few more minutes, maybe. Yeah, no, this, it's still pretty bad here. We're gonna wait. We're gonna ride this storm out. A nice temperate 309 degrees. Oh yeah. Perfect day to go for a nice walk in an air fryer. Friend shaped, friend shaped, come back here. Whoa, it's a unit. It's a big boy. It's kinda cute. What are you? Oh, I just got the wrong thing? What? What the is that a glitch? Oh no. A Dumasia. Dumasia. Dumasia? A Dumasia? <laughs> No, that can't be his name. Uh, Domasia. That's brutal. That's mean. Look at him. He's adorable. Little head chunky body, right? Oh, I don't know if you, I don't know if you touch them. Well, rephrase that. If you click on them, it does their animation. Forest occur on the dusty open landscapes of planet Dacia. Gregarious, wide roaming creatures. They are occasionally found alone, but such animals are unhappy. Lost from the herd. Oh, jeez. Why is the lore so depressing? A gnawing hunger for sugar drives their very waking moment. Yo, that's relatable. Their existence, a constant hunt from sweet plant to the next. It's just me looking for a sweet treat in the middle of the night when I've had something spicy. Additional observations, good parent. Aww. I'm gonna rename him. Uh, good... Good chunk. There you go. That's more. A, a Damasia is not. It's not nice. They're a good parent. He's like a little sweet little treat. A good chunk is a good name. Are things still on fire? Shit. You know what? I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm going to Puke Planet. Wait, it goes from oh, another freighter, but I can't land on it. I don't know how. Definitely gonna be something I'm gonna be googling later. That is for sure. What's this? Old. Okay. Dead planet, metallic. I don't have enough warp fuel, right? If I were to say, hyperdrive has no fuel. Okay, gotcha. No worries, it's fine. 
Let's go to this dead world. Uh, dead world? Let's go to dead world. I need to look for some basic building blocks and that's it. Stop giving me freighters I can't explore. Uh. Oops, oh, sorry. This way. I like the texture of this world so far. Lag spike though. Apps and remote non efficient. Hamindu Alpha. Yeah, I look like O2 plants and shit that I need. This is a nice place to chill and get some stuff. Okie dokie, what do I need? Let's make some more of those. Okay, six launch fuel, nice. Um, what the hell is this? Life support gel, don't need that. Okay, so I got five antimatter. I need antimatter housing, which is uh, that, which is 30 oxygen, and 50 ferrite. So, so I need 180 oxygen and uh, 250 ferrite dust. Okay, ferrite dust and oxygen then. The fuck is that? Well, what are all these? This is a plant? Immature branching, atmospheric moisture, photosensitive tendrils. Weird. Okay, wasn't expecting uh, plants like that. Oh, whispering eggs. Nope, no thanks. Oh, my fleets are arriving in their systems to survey. Do the missions for out of them. Can I break these? Plants huge. More oxygen. Oxygen rich plants. Nice. Let's purify. I don't need that. Need more dust. Pretty sure that's enough ferret dust. Oh yeah. Oxygen... 90. A little bit more. How far is that one? 362... 218. Let's go to that one. The 
the low gravity is kind of cool. Yeah, my frame rates are not doing great here. Uh, I put DLSS to performance, maybe? It's on balance right now. No, not quality. Give it a second. Okay, it's running. It's lagging like, oh no. Please don't crash. You crash on me. I'm switching to DayZ. Don't you dare crash. Oh, it's so slow. Come on. Oh, what's happening? Okay, you know what? I don't. I can't do this. So I'm gonna be right back as we switch to Daisy. We don't have too much left in the stream anyway, but I'm gonna just loot a little bit, explore. Oh, oh, indeed. Um, anything I can do? It's just, it's just hurting my eyes. Look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna switch to chatting while. I'm I just realized I've been talking this entire time and my mic has been off. Whoops. But yeah, I accidentally turned on Elden Ring. <laughs> okay, Daisy. There you are. Oh, this is a good moment to get up and stretch. Ah, oh, better. If you're talking, you're muted. Yep. <laughs> I sure was. All right, let's get this started real quick. Man, No Man's Sky does not play well with um, um, switching sources or switching DLSS on the fly for some reason. Okay, I have to wait for Daisy to start up before I can connect that uh, launcher window. It's loading. I should be able to do it now. Oh, no? Oh, there we go. Alright, now for something very different. Some Daisy surviving. Oh shit. Oh, zombie definitely saw me. So I gave away some food yesterday, not realizing I gave away all my food. And my character's kind of hungry, so that's not a good combo. I just need like a can of something to keep me going. And then here, oh shit. I think I heard something. Could be wrong, but I'm not sure. Oh, what's that a mag off? Uh, P1. Damn it. More like PU. Huh? 
No? No. Shit, I'm hungry. Crap, I don't know why I gave away all my food. That was dumb. So far, so good. I can hear deer, but I don't really have any ammo or any. <laughs> I just have non lethal rounds. I don't think that'll be enough. So we may have to resort to scavenging or a bit of banditry. I'm not sure. Oh, let me check my source, see what's happening. Can you hear it now? Oh, there's a lot of gunshots going off. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what I did with my, uh, my sources, but I had them crossed or something. I wonder if I can just shoot a deer with a rubber slug and take it down. Probably not, but let's see. Or maybe I'll just ask someone kindly for some food. That was dumb of me. I shouldn't have given away all that food. This one? Yeah. Damn it. Shit. I don't have a proper rifle to take them out with. Uh, oh well. Got nothing? Damn. Tree base is right there. Yep. Doors seem closed. A couple of zombies walking around. Might just bypass them and just go towards Lubyansk. likelihood of me actually finding a gun there is probably low, so I'm just going to avoid it. What building is that? Oh. There might be something good here. Ah, uh, no point. Fire. <laughs> I 
There. Really hoping there's people there. I'm gonna hide my weapons and stuff just in case. Oh, I still have that flashbang grenade. Could come in handy. Okay, smoke's going from multiple houses, people outside, hopefully they're friendly. Oh, I am dying six. God damn it. From what? I'm probably a cold if I start, like, making pain so- oh, what the f- I have two people fighting up there. Hello? Hey. hey. What's up, man? How's it- Um, um- Hungry as hell. You guys got any food? Don't. Uh, there's human meat being made, but uh, not sure if that's what you want. Not really. Yeah, I mean either. Sorry. Here, do you need some water? I could get you some water here. Oh, I'm good. There's a burnt steak in here. And a dead body? What the hell happened to this guy? Yeah, there's a lot of dead bodies in there. Mm. Hey, do you have any ammo? For what? Any of your guns, or do you have a gun? Uh, no, oh, man. I have a flare gun. That's it. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna go give them their water back, I guess. Alright. Jesus. <laughs> uh. Oh, I got a cold. Great. Watch out in the, uh, next house. There's some guys with guns. Alright. Hello? In there. Yeah, watch out in there. They're armed. Hey, oh, oh Jesus Sorry, Christ. No. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna yeah. close the door. Uh, I, I, Have a uh, good day, bro. Yeah, you too. Alright, I got you guys' water. I'm gonna throw it in. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yo. Are y'all friendly? Oh, fuck! Holy shit! Come on, we're just trying to be by the fire. Just Yo, where are they? I need to do all uh, that. Oh, right, right there. Yo, may I ask, how do you make this? Um, oh, I okay. flashed by myself. This is chaotic. Hmm. Alright, I just dropped you two bones. You use those bones uh, um, to make a bone knife, and then you just get a long stick and you combine them. You know, I'm gonna make a deal for you. If you uh, go the back window, if you drop that BK in here, we'll leave and we won't kill you. I mean, I don't have a BK. One, two, I'm already dying. What did you Three, say? I have to pee, so I'm ready to die so I can go to the washroom. So yeah. Just come in here with hands up, we'll make it quick. Nah, this is more fun. What was the gun though? Can you tell me? Um, it's called a. A KB. Bus shotgun. Is that what they're called? You made it. Ah, damn, he got me. <laughs> All 
All right, I think that's a good way to call it for the night. Oh, man, that was a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> oh, did my game just freeze? R.I.P. Yep, R.I.P. That's the DZ life. Honestly, I wanted to try a new server called Bitterroot anyway. So, a nice, fitting, not successful way to end that run. But that's all right. But on that note, thank you for joining, everyone. I hope you had a fun time watching the new update for No Man's Sky and me getting shot in the head by that guy. Have a great night, and I'll see you Saturday. Take care.